guys, what's up? It's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this sort of purple dip dye ombre type hair. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, I am super excited for this video. You guys know how much I love to change my hair up. And if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name's Melissa, welcome. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified every time I post a video. And I think that's all I have to say, so let's just get into the video. Okay, so go ahead and grab any sort of mixing bowl, this one just from Sally's, and any sort of tinting brush as well. And I like to use these black reusable gloves so my hands don't get stained. And of course, grab your favorite purple, mine's Ultraviolet by Manic Panic, and a white conditioner, that's all you need. Okay, so this part is super easy. Just go ahead and put white conditioner in a bowl. Depending on your hair length, go ahead and put as much as you need. And then I start off slowly and adding a little bit of color until I get my desired purple. Okay, this last part is optional. I like to grab a couple of small elastic bands because I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down and brush it out and then create two pigtails, if that makes sense. I just find it a lot easier to dip dye my hair slash ombre this way. It kind of gives me a guideline, if that makes sense. So that's all I'm doing right here. Then you just want to apply the color to the bottom portion of your pigtail and you just really want to work this color in because when you start to separate the hair you'll notice the underneath parts are still blonde so you just want to make sure you really really work this in. So I ended up taking some of the purple straight from the bottle without it being diluted with conditioner and I added some of that to my tips as well, you can see. And I just went ahead and worked it up my hair to create that ombre sort of look because I wanted different shades of purple in my hair as well. So after you're done combing the purple through your ends and kind of creating that ombre look, you're just going to want to leave this on for about 30 minutes and then go ahead and rinse it out with cool water. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I'm super excited. If you liked this hair, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. I'm itching my elbow right now. <laughs> Leave a comment down below on which hair color you like best on me because I'm really curious. I want to know. I'm really digging this hair right now because I wasn't really wanting to go like full on, full head of color, which I normally do, but I wanted something in there if that makes sense. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm super excited to be posting more for you guys. So, like I said, go ahead and follow me on my social media so you can keep up with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. 